There's no doubt last year was a challenging year for us as a company, but obviously more importantly for our customers and our employees. So I'd really like to thank our customers for supporting us over the last 12 months. And again, their continued trust in our company, our software and our people. We really do appreciate that. We continue to focus on three core geographies, UK and Ireland, APAC region and North America. And within those geographies, we focus on five core markets, local government, health, education, housing and central government. So our long-term focus for the business and our ambition is to continue working with the markets that we operate in today, in the geographies where we operate, to continue being the number one provider for public sector software. We've had another successful year. This is the 20th year of growth that we've had. Our top line grew by 8.3% and our EBITDA grew by 18.7%. And coupled to that, we also significantly invested in our people and our products. One of our major initiatives in 2021 was taking our software from one geography into the other geographies and helping our customers across all our markets. This has increased our software sales in those geographies for those products by sixfold. So acquisitions remain a core part of our strategy. So we'll continue our strategy around acquisitions in developing our markets, our products and our capabilities, which we know will benefit our customers. In 2021, we successfully navigated the many impacts of the pandemic. Our key focus was all about the well-being of our employees, both their mental health, but also ensuring that they were connected to our company and to our customers. So we spent over 220,000 hours supporting our colleagues with their personal development and training. And one of the areas that is really excellent to see through all of the pandemic our colleagues have continued to focus on communities. And just one of the many examples we had was our colleagues in India who supported the development of a 500 bed hospital. So we're really excited about the future for Civica. We have a proven strategy, one we've been executing for a number of years. We've got great investment in our products, our people and our innovation. We're committed to working with our customers as they transform the services they provide to citizens including automation, digitization, and of course, cloud transformation. As we continue through 2022, I'd like to applaud the tireless efforts of our customers across public services and other providers who are responsible for supporting the ever-changing needs of their citizens and customers. And also, I'd like to thank all of our colleagues across all of our geographies for the outstanding services that they deliver. We are confident that Civica is uniquely positioned to support customers through their evolving needs and opportunities.